Okay, good afternoon. Uh, our project is called the Arma by the guys in the shots. Uh, so, what are we addressing? Uh, we, are, we, are, we are a disaster relief system supply chain optimization problem. So, I personally seen uh, the wrath of two of these natural calamities. Uh, I'm, I'm from India. So, uh, in 2004, I was in Chennai when the tsunami happened, and in I, I, we could feel uh, uh, like the aftershock of the Gujarat earthquake. So uh, we've been there. So we know what, what like the panic that sets in and stuff. So we wanted to build something that addresses uh, the disasters, and we wanted to focus one on like food distribution. Uh, we took our inspiration from the Netherlands food bank problem, and uh, we built our problem uh, like we built our solution uh, taking into those guidelines. So how did we do this? Ah, so we took an example of Florida. We cre created a simulated data set. Uh, we scraped all the possible public schools of Florida and we set them as distribution centers because they're big and they're well equipped. And uh, we created a stock, a safety stock uh, optimization slash load balancing system. Uh, and the parameters we chose, uh, we created some of the parameters to simulate the most real uh, situation as possible. Uh, we chose like the population distribution in counties. Then uh, we clustered each population distribution into like a bigger chain. Like uh, we had smaller nodes connected to distribution centers, and we clustered them by distance. And uh, we had like days to food food exhaustion. We set like a uh, amount of food. It's like one minute of food. What we set was like as three meals for a particular person in a day. And then we looked at the storage capability of these centers. You know, like bigger school, bigger storage, is smaller school, smaller storage. And uh, we actually uh, hand wrote and we found our own variable called the priority score, where we had to assign food to in the distribution centers. And we wanted to keep this simple as uh, you know simple and stupid as possible. So how our framework worked, and we accepted the challenge. And how our framework worked was uh, we used a really simple uh, uh, we used tele stacks to send messages about the area and the number of people in your household, and we used uh, optimization predictive analytics and load balancing to distribute uh, our resources in between our clusters, which will be going into detail next. And we use Faxio to actually send out uh, instructions to distribution centers on what resources to allocate where. Just so that you guys understand it, Telestax is what we're using to get the input data set when, when this thing actually goes live. We can use that to actually get the real-time data to understand the real-time demand per, on a daily basis. People would just have to say the number of people in their household, and it would go into our back and it would get into our database. But for today, we couldn't get that many uh, data sets in, in one day. So, so, we have so to now we use simulated data, but we have the infrastructure for Yeah. Uh, so what we did was, our, after eight cups of coffee, uh, we ended up building this program. So the aspect ratio is a little bad. So what you can see here, this is the input data which goes in. Every time you guys send a text yeah, you message. Can, you can send a text message right now uh, to the number we provide as, as the presentation goes over. And uh, you can, uh, you get, you have to send, I am from area code, like area, the set area, and my household, number of people in my household. And uh, it will give instructions at the end of the day uh, to the distribution centers, please allot this much quantities of food from this particular center to the, this particular center. And uh, just to explain what we're addressing, uh, next next slide. This this particular uh, uh, graph is supposed to be a heat maps of how bad this the scarcity in in, in food. each food. So this is before we process the data, and as you can see, there are a few red points which show that there is the the exhaustions. Uh, it might happen in the in the next few days. So that that we're trying to say before we process our load. The data was looking bad, and, and there are a few distribution centers which might run into the risk of oh, having no food at all soon. Before. And we use optimization and we use our own algorithm to to make sure the load is distributed even. And it, can you go to the next slide? Yeah. So um, so what happens is the instructions are sent to the distribution managers who will say uh, distribute uh, uh, food from this center to this center to make it even more balanced. And now we represent the same heat map with the updated load. And you can see the so color. Right, right, days right. of the exhaustion has increased here. They have more time. And the priority score also decreases. Yeah. And moving on to scope. Uh, so we wanted to use the telestax back to send out mass messages uh, to people about where to go find food. Uh, we, we actually uh, 
wanted to like optimize even the quantity of food things and you, now you're saying the little chunks thing was one free but you if you, if you could optimize it to the extent of how many boxes you could send it would be better mm -hmm. and uh, forecast it uh, we also implemented the failsafe with Axios uh, and uh, the data set itself the here's was a challenge you know because we don't have the data sets for these kind of situations we to manufacture ourselves and a real data set would give us better results and uh, we also wanted to include one thing we forgot uh, not forgot we didn't include because of the time frame in this particular challenge was uh, transportation costs and is it possible to transport so we want to implement that in our next Thank you. Including the email sent out to info at adhack.com. Yeah, so take a look at the report. Yeah, we have sent an email of like the the process of getting distribution like instructions to the email at adhack, and you can text one number we can hand out and we will keep updated. Any questions, guys? You uh, your data set itself. You said you're going to use elementary schools. Uh, no, not elementary schools. So we, we collected the data of all the schools possible uh, in Miami. And uh, depending on the size of the schools, we also set up that uh, the storage spaces also differs in the same way. If the school size is around, we can hold 1,000 people. We say the storage of the school, uh, total storage capacity of the school is much higher. So we, we have to make that assumption. Cool. Thank you. That was great. Thanks, guys.